I do believe we have... Yeah, we have the World Cup USA 94 badge right there. And here is our group, as I said earlier on as well. Our group looks really, really easy on this. These teams don't have a lot of players. Uruguay will be the only team who could possibly take some points from us, but we need to win this group. No matter which players we call up, this is an easy group. All right, these must-win matches is always a little... I'm a little nervous around it, but Linegar at the back post from Le Seu could be disallowed this one. Otherwise, it's a goal two minutes in. Come on, get in there. One nil. Goal by Linegar after two minutes. Johnny Barnes with lots of space in midfield. David Platt. Le Seu and Linegar. That is beautiful. Two assists for Le Seu, two goals from Linegar. Coming up to full time, 8 nil. Yeah, it was a must win this one. Warm up game, just like the Argentinian one. And Uruguay beat Ghana. It was not Tunisia, Ghana, of course. And that's how it should be. Us and Uruguay should battle it out for this one. We do need to play our best players in this one. If we win this one, we can take it easy against Ghana and rest a couple of guys. So let's continue with this lineup against Uruguay. We did win the opener against Japan, 8-0. And now against Uruguay, Alan Shearer from the cross from Le Seu. And as you said, Donut, this is the this deciding one. Can we win this one? The group is home safe. Le Seu with the corner kick and Shearer with his second. Alan Shearer, Gary Lineker, how far will they take us? It's Linegar. It's, of course, Gary Linegar with the third and 3-0 against Uruguay. The group looked looked really easy, to be honest. It did look easy, this group. I'm much more worried when we move on from the group. But this victory is very, very important because we can rest some players against Ghana. Let's finish off this group and move on in the tournament. Dorigo for Merson. I'd like to see that Merson goal. Beardsley moving the ball around. Beautiful. Here is Rob Jones. Great cross. Dorigo for Merson. Tony Dorigo. There is Chris Bart. Ian Wright. Dennis Wise. Batty finding Merson. We can do whatever we want here. And what a goal. What a beauty for Merson. What a beautiful setup it is. 2 0 against Ghana. Haven't we seen Tony Eboa with a long shot yet? I would like to see a beautiful Tony Eboa goal, even though he's he's not playing for my team. But this one uh, was a great goal. Merson is having me having a storm on this match. Next match, Denmark. <laughs> that's that's perfect in some sort of way. That is actually quite perfect. Let's check out what happened in the groups in the last matches. Right. There we go. Croatia seems really strong. They bossed their group. Holland drew with Australia, Argentina, a uh, bye-bye, Wales and Holland will continue, Brazil beating Sweden, Sweden are out, Brazil and Portugal will continue, Italy with a 5-0, Lentini goals again, a hat-trick this time, Nigeria beats USA, so Nigeria must move on, also has a fun team actually, Germany with a 5-0, Spain with a 7-0, those two teams we will avoid. Hope to avoid Belgium, Colombia. There was Tino. Goal in the 28th minute. France, Denmark drew, again, drew against Tunisia. Bring it on, Denmark. <laughs> Tino Lassi, Dan Papang, Laurent Blanc, Petit. Oh my god. And Uruguay also with the victory. So the first knockout round is Belgium against Spain, Colombia, Germany, Czech Republic, Wales. Denmark, England, France, Uruguay, Holland, Croatia, Nigeria, Brazil, Portugal, Italy. Let me hear your favorites to, vi to win this tournament. This is the European Champions of 92, just with Michael Lautrup, who didn't play in the World Cup 92. I'm actually looking really much forward for this game, and for this match. I need to beat my own home nation. To be on course with England. Yeah, this looks really good. It's Gascoigne who's the problem. And Mark Wright is furious. Fu furious. Holy shit. Gaza, go out and have some fun in town. And get back in four days for the Denmark match. Let's go. First knockout, knockout round. 
In the World Cup 94, we are of course using the 92-93 database. And we have won our group with 9 points. Now it's down to business against Denmark. All right. Wise or Platt? I need a good advice. David Platt, Dennis Wise. Now it's, we are done with the group stages. Now it is knockout time. And we are playing against Dinamarca. I didn't even see the starting lineup. Can I please see the starting lineup? Schmeichel in goal. Thomas Helvig. He's young at this point of time. Michael Laudrup. Where is Brian Laudrup? He's there. The rest I don't care about much. We need to win this one. We need to win it. We like to build it up from the defense. Le Seur on the run. Alan Shearer for Platt. And here is Linegar. And this is why we didn't substitute Linegar, Sir Grudge. That is why. Beautiful chip. That is second chip of the tournament. Gary Linegar and Alan Shearer up on top. I believe in that stuff. I do believe in it. Shearer for Linegar. Linegar on the run. He's been brilliant already today. And a ton. Pacey stuff. Fine, Shearer. We up 2-0. That was good to see Darren Anderton. Mr. Glass Legs has contributed once again for us. It's Linegar who started it. Finds Anderton. There he goes, speeds it up. And it's an easy tap in for Alan Shearer. 2-0 up. Come on, ref. Final whistle, please. There we go. Move on. 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. It's been quite easy so far, but I know we'll meet one powerhouse team and we will be in trouble. So let's see who's up next. Here we go, send the assistant. Who's up next? Let's see. Belgium on extra time beats Spain, eliminates Spain. Colombia's out, losing to Germany. Yeah, you see that coming. Wales still in there. Goals by Speed, Hughes and Saunders. Uruguay beat France. Cantona goal. But Uruguay on penalties. That's an upset. Both teams from our group moves on. Holland 4-1 against Croatia. Hattrick by Vanenburg. Van Basten is there. Brazil needed to go to penalties to beat Nigeria. What a game. And Italy beats Portugal. Who will we be up against next match? And now it's it's now it's serious business. Now it is serious business. I need to do these uh, changes immediately. Um, there we go. We need to take a look at the German team. All right, Oliver Kahn is already called up and playing instead of Bodo Ilkner. And it's a bit of a surprise, actually. He moved to PSV Eindhoven for six million, yeah. He's a bargain in the first season. Kohler is suspended. Matthias Sammer is suspended. You'll love to see that. Two of the starters, probably. Stefan Reuter is in there. Buchwald, Siege, Boreme, Matthäus, Effenberg, Olaf Thun. Andy Müller is suspended. All right. Thomas Hessler, Mehmet Scholl, only 23 years old. Karl-Heinz Riedle, Rudi Füller still around, 33. Ulf Kirsten and Jürgen Klinsmann, who we saw scored a lot of goals for Monaco. 27 in 38 appearances. It is a world-class team nonetheless, but three major suspensions. Let's go. Bring it on, Germany. Bring it on. We have some options from the bench later on in the game. We have John Barnes. Wise could come in later. Let's take a look at this. Oliver Kahn alongside Markus Babbel, Buchwald, Berthold, Siege, Effenberg, Scholl, Matthäus, Bremen, Klinsmann, Füller. And they are without three of their strongest players. And still with a lineup like that. Here we go. World Cup 1994. This is the quarterfinal. England versus Germany. All right, throw in for Le Seur. David Platt comes deep. Le Seur for Gaza. Gaza with the pass forward for Linegar. It's 1-0. Yes, it's there. Linegar with the first time shot. He is the best player of this tournament. Absolutely. Will he take us? How far will he take us? And the pass from Gaza. You'll love to see it. There we go. That's not first time in this tournament. He finds Linegar, Shira, and bang. No chance for Oliver Kahn. Up 1-0. That deserves the Golasso emote in the chat. Andy Bremer, Keon, with that heading ability in our central defense. And Linegar, it looked like an offside, but what a pass from Merson. Fractionally offside, maybe it was actually quite close. Awarded! 
David Platt, Shira. Platt finds Merson, right? There he is, Merson, with the chip pass for Lenniger. We are 2 0 against Germany. 20 minutes into the first half. Ha! How do you feel about that? We are at the quarterfinal at the moment at the World Cup 94 with the England team who never got qualified in real life. And Sir Grunchy was knowing something I didn't know. Now we are 3 0. Lineker hat trick. Holy smokes, this is beautiful. And it goes really good, Lele, as you can feel. I've been on this World Cup run all day long. It took me two hours just to call up to, to decide which players we should call up to the team. This means we move on to the semi finals, right? If we win, if we keep on a hold to this lead, we'll move on to the freaking semi finals. As I said earlier in the stream, I have done these World Cup challenges for all my databases. There is Mateos and it's an equalizer. It's not over yet, right? It's not over yet at all. I've done these World Cup challenges for all my different databases and I never managed to win one of them. Anderton, he's not in it today. They have been able to close him down. That must be Andreas Breme. There he is, Anderton. Great interception. Ball back to Seaman. Now Platt midfield goes for Lidiger. Just get the ball to Lidiger. Okay, ball possession again. Easy, guys. Easy now. <laughs> back to Lidiger. <laughs> It's 4-1. This is the freaking Lineker show, man. Holy shit, he's good. And he's playing in Japan in this database. What's going on? Platt just waiting for his opportunity to find Lineker. And he's there. And first touch, it's 4-1 against Germany. I'm surprised by the re this result. I'm pretty surprised. How far can Lineker take us? Four goals today absolutely smashed it what a performance next up is the semi-final who are we up against let's see the results they are in italy beats holland in a close one extra time goal by capioli in 119 minutes holland is out italy is continuing uruguay they are the biggest upset of the tournament we were in the same group as them. Now they're moving on to the semi-final. Wales! <laughs> what the hell? Wales did it. Two goals by Dean Saunders. One by Hughes. One own goal. And in penalties, Wales managed to knock out Brazil. Goals by Bebeto. Goals by Careca. This is mad. This is freaking crazy. And we get Italy in the semi-final. Ah... What a tournament he had. What a tournament he has right now. 100 game. In his in his cap, number 100, he scored four goals. <coughs> Gary freaking Lineker. Wow. Wales, Uruguay. <laughs> Wales, Uruguay. We could actually win this shit if we go to the final. We could actually win this. Come on. All right. Any tired players? It's not bad, actually. It's not too bad. And a ton in the winger role. Yeah. Try to hit Shira. Just get the ball up for Lidiga, goddamn. Gaza and Platt against the Italians. Merson is tired. Let's get John Barnes in there as the white playmaker. Pally over right. Let's go for Pally. Gary Pallister, he's in. Semi-final against Italy. Italia, who has a fantastic team. Let's check it out. Gianluca Pagliuca in goal. Giuseppe Bergumi, captain. Fra over Franco Baresi, actually. Ciro Ferrara, wow. Paolo Maldini, that defense. Can they take care of Gary Lineker? Gianluigi Lentini, who scored five or six goals in this tournament so far. Giuseppe Giannini. Capioli, who scored that 119 minute goal to get them to the semis. Alberico Ivani as a starter. Gianfranco Sola and Baggio. Bench of Peruzzi, Ferri, Vircovut, Albacini on the bench. Senga. Dino Baggio, Nicola Berti, Costa Curta, Rutolo, Gianluca Vialli on the bench, Donatoni and Roberto Mancini. Now we mean business. Now this is it. Let's freaking go. I want to be that final so much. It could be against Wales or Uruguay. We have every chance to win this tournament if we get past Italy. All right. I'm ready, guys. Are you ready? Let's do this. Albertini not starting to grunge. He's on the bench for Italy. Holy shit, come on. Can Lineker continue his brilliant form? 
but that Italian defense, that Italian defense, you don't find anything better than that. <laughs> Does that count? Please say it counts. Come on, allow that goal. Goal I wanted. Did you see that goal with the left foot from Lineker? He's on fire. Who did cross it in there? Was it Dorico? Look at this finish. Bang! 1 0 up. 40 seconds in. Holy smokes. Lineker's doing the job. He's taking us all the freaking way, man. Dorico. Replacing Lecceux. Great cross, Lineker. That's the poacher you want to see. Whoo, Golasso, goddamn, get out the Golasso emote in the chat. There we freaking go, that was a Golasso. 2-0! <laughs> what? I didn't even see it! I was away for a second. Two minutes in, Linegar again or what? Platt. Lots of space in midfield. Sheer off Linegar. Linegar gets the ball, we know what will happen, it's a goal. <laughs> What the fuck? Shit, he's good, Linegar, on this. Damn. Italy don't know what, what happened, what hit them. They have no idea what hit them. I have no idea what happened two, two minutes in. In the semi-final. Could this be my best World Cup challenge so far? I hope so. We can hope we can take it all the way. Here is Sola. Gianfranco Sola with the cross. Adams clears it. Shira on the counter, Lenigo for the hat-trick, saved this time by Pauluca. Could have been a hat-trick in three minutes. Whew. Here comes Italy. Gascoigne though, gets the ball, now Italy, it's back and forward. Robbie Baggio and Zola, Robbie Baggio, that's a perfect, that's a, that's a real Robbie Baggio goal. 1-2, this ain't over at all when they can do stuff like this. Robbie and Zola, beautiful teamwork. And Robbie, that's that's a typical Robbie goal. They're back in it. Now it's actually easily dominating. Robbie Baggio. There we go. Anderton clears it. Didn't hit a, another English Englishman though. Now Italy moving the ball around. Fantastic. Robbie Baggio. <laughs> that was freaking beautiful. Did you see how he turned around? There we go. Bye bye. See you later, alligator. And Robbie Baccio. I shouldn't have thrown my Robbie Baccio emote in the chat. 2-2 Two -two it is. What a semi-final. Lineker versus Baccio. Now, what we don't want to is going to penalties, actually. Because the England English curse with penalties. But there is Robbie Baccio taking a penalty. That could be, am be amazing if he missed against us. Now, let's see what will happen. Half an hour left of this one. This is a great pass, Barnes. You just need to find Lineker. And he gets to the hat-trick before with his 70th. 17th goal for the national team. Barnes knew exactly who to find. He waits up over there. Great pass. And Lineker with the hat-trick. Gets it before Baggio. Hopefully Baggio won't get to it. Here comes Italy. Ropi Baggio. It's a hat-trick against the hat-trick. <laughs> Fucking A. Let's see Italy. 17 shots. 5 on target. Us 14. 8 on target. Expected goals. Very close. Could seem like extra time. This would be a crazy penalty kick if we go to that. What is this? Are we being handed the penalty? We are. Shira, 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 yes! Alan Shira! 4-3 in the 94th minute. We are on the way to the fucking final. Alan Shira. Oh, Paluka was out there. Oh. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. Who do we want? Uruguay, who we were in the same group as. Or Wales in the freaking World Cup final. Who do we want? Wales gets it done. <laughs> Ian Rush scored in ordinary time and they won another penalty. 
Another penalty against Uruguay, and we get Wales in the freaking final. This is bonkers. Goal top scorers. 13 goals, Gary Lineker. That is like uh, Just Fontaine, the French international who scored in the 40s or something. Something He scored 13 or 14 goals at the World Cup. Six by Robbie Baccio. Five by Kuka and Romario. Dean Saunders with four. Putragenio, Marco van Basten and Rudy Fuller. FIFA World Cup Final. Wales versus England. Come on, let's do this, man. Let's take this. If we lose this, honestly, I will be a little bit disappointed. This is a huge chance. <clears throat> All right, Dean Saunders and Mark Hughes up on top, Phillips Horn, Gary Speed, Ryan Giggs, Clayton Blackmore, Coleman, Eric Young, Hall, Neville Southall, Neville Southall in the World Cup final. You actually, you actually want to see that. That is beautiful. Here we go. Come on, come on. Let's do this. If I miss this one, if I draw, if I don't win this one, I will be so disappointed with myself. 2-1 for England, that's the shout from This Is England, and Shira! Oi, Neville Southall. Oh, Lineker, ha! What happened? Brilliant save from Southall, and Lineker wasn't offside or what? Look at this save from the Shira finish. That's a save. What happened here? Oh, it's from a Wales player. No, Shira heads it up for Lineker. Why no offside? Wasn't he offside? I don't care, Lineker continues with his 14th goal at the tournament, and we're up 1-0. It certainly looked like an offside from my point of view, but mm, uh, don't matter, don't, don't bother. Steen Saunders with a thunder bastard. Saved by David Seaman. He had a great tournament as well. Wales is in the final for some reason. They must have had a brilliant tournament. Was it 4-4 against Brazil and then winning in the penalties? My, my, Wales has had a tournament as well. Wales are in ball possession. Who's for Dean Saunders? That's actually a quite good goal. Maybe disallowed. It's awarded. Who's for Saunders? It's 1-1. One, one. 17 minutes in. Too much space for Saunders. Just a little bit quicker than Keon or Adams. It is Wales against England. None of these two teams qualified for the real World Cup 94. But in this alternate universe... This is how it looks. And Wales are playing like Brazil, actually. What the hell? Please disallow that one. Wake up, guys. We can't be losing to Wales. I won't have it. It stands. It stands. What happened? Saunders, Speed, and Phillips with the through ball. It's great. It's a great setup. But what about the offsides in this match, referee? Where the hell are you? Blackmore for Horn. Gary Speed, Giggs. They play pretty good, Wales. Hall picks it up. Come on, England. Mark Hughes. Saunders Hughes. Gary Speed. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. I haven't won one of these World Cup challenges in the last five years. And now I have the chance against Wales in the freaking final. But they play like the Brazilians. Beautiful setup. Freaking beautiful setup. God damn, this is not happening. Shira, come on. Let's get a goal before halftime, at least. They're playing like they're possessed, right? Have you seen anything like this from Wales? What the freaking fuck? I said it early on in this database. Wales has so many quality players, but this is ridiculous. Come on, Lidiger. What was that? 14 goals in the tournament, and he misses the biggest chance of the tournament, Lidiger. This is not a good sign. Come on, let's uh, get it into the box again. All right, Lee Dixon. Get it in there, come on. He needs some help. He gets it in there. It's a penalty on Merson, right? Penalty on Merson. Need this early goal in the second half. Come on, come on. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Please don't miss. It's Shira. Neville Southall, he beats Neville Southall. We're back, come on. All right, but Wales, Wales have packed up, it seems like. That's a bad foul. 11 against 10 now. Out with Gareth Hall. Get out. Now we need to take advantage of this. Come on, come on. Ian Rush. Blackmore. 
Whales are down, one man. Come on, guys. Please don't disappoint me. Shira drops deep. Beardsley for Lineker. Come on, Lineker. What's up with this? He haven't missed a chance the whole tournament. Now he missed the two biggest chances in the final. Is it very attacking now? Come on. It must be. Lesser. Advances forward. Wales in ball position. Neville Southall. Get out of here, Saunders! Get out of here! Thanks, Mart G, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that so much, man. You're just dropping in as Dean Saunders is playing like Romario in the World Cup 94 final. What's up with Wales, man? This was my huge chance to win a World Cup challenge. This <laughs> Congratulations, Wales. You did a great job winning the World Cup 94. Fuck off. Fuck off, man. Need that third sub. I should have used that third sub for sure. Saunders hat trick. Ridiculous how Saunders he played. Unlucky, man. This is England. I'm sorry for all you English people. I couldn't bring the trophy home. I had every chance. It's pain. Yeah, my head is pain. Completely outplayed by Wales. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Raiden. I'm so sorry. This is embarrassing. I got Wales in the final and we couldn't manage to do anything. Lineker missed the two biggest chances of the whole tournament. He scored 14 goals so far, but he couldn't do anything about it in the final. This is so, such disappointing. Ah, that was fun though, but so close. Actually, I had much fun. What a journey we were on today. Won the group. We should win the group. Did that. Thanks for the follow. Joey McLean, 2019. That rhymes. I like that. Welcome to the Mad Crew. We had much, lots of fun today. Won the group as we should. Beat Denmark, my home nation, in the first knockout round. Then we beat Germany. Germany. We did beat Germany. They didn't stand a chance against us. Lineker was on fire. Then Italy in the semi-final. And then give me Wales in the final. So I can bottle it. Freaking fucking hell, man.